Alright, so here's my uh, Mega Squirt 2 all built up and configured for my uh, my engine setup for the V6, and then we've got the, the stimulator, of course, and I even I even took the time to hook up the uh, my autometer tack. Um, so it's all hooked up to the tack signal wire and configured and everything. Um, and of course I have the Mega Squirt connected over serial to the, uh, the computer. It's all red because it's turned off right now, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So you can see these two little LEDs up here showing injector firing. This one's fuel pump. Um, same thing over here. This this end LED is injector firing. This one's uh, warm up enrichment. So and then the, the tack turns on, of course, and it's uh, got the backlighting turned on. So as I turn the little RPM knob here, you can see the RPM changes on there, and the tack moves accordingly, um, and it's configured properly. So that's really nice to know that that's all working. Um, so we've got all that, and then if I pull up the uh, real-time tuning display here, you can see as I move the O2, the O2 bar moves, right, as we change the coolant temperature, coolant temp moves, uh, battery voltage is going to be pretty constant, we can do throttle position sensor, there it is, moving up and down there. Um, what else we got? We've got RPM fine, so we can crank up the RPM slowly, or we can use the course, of course, and turn it all the way up and down. Here, uh, we can do mass air temperature. Yeah, turn that up and down. Um, So the, the stimulator works, the mega squirt works, communication with the uh, computer works, and the last LED here that isn't turned on right now is the acceler acceleration enrichment. So when we crank up the TPS, it flashes on for a little bit because it's doing a uh, enrichment for acceleration. And that's pretty much it. We got the daughter board here for the mega squirt two. Um, nice tack hooked up. <laughs> one of my one of my many gauges now, um, and I even bought. The uh, the mod kit from uh, DIY AutoTune because I have a uh, I have a PWM pulse width modulated uh, idle air control valve so cracked it open so I can go ahead and install that uh, and then once I install that I am actually done <laughs> and I can button it up uh, for good so uh, that's the Mega Square Two a little little bit on how that all works um, thanks for watching.